my name is Jay Cooper. I'm here in uh, outside of Medina. My uh, one of my retirement aspirations was to uh, grow some raspberries. So I thought about this for a while. I just uh, moved to this location a few years ago, and um, um, decided to put in uh, raised beds after one season of uh, of uh, lack of success. Uh, my research uh, uh, pointed out that the raised beds are much better, especially in this heavy clay soil that we have here. So um, in the process of putting in the raised beds and reading more and doing more research, I learned about the spotted wing Drosophila. And, and uh, fortunately, I put the raised beds in fairly straight lines and I was able to put this structure with the netting to keep the uh, spotted wing out. And I think we've been uh, pretty successful with the, uh, with the raspberries uh, this year, um, working with uh, Jim Jasinski and um, put in some traps and haven't found any, uh, any of the bugs in the traps, uh, the dangerous ones anyway. But uh, for some weird reason, even with the netting, there were lots of other bugs. Lots of things that, uh, that uh, didn't really bother the berries uh, too much, um, uh, although it took a lot of work to, to keep them clean. This is the, um, the first attempt. And um, after the experience of uh, this particular structure, um, I've redesigned uh, the, the structure for, uh, for next year. And um, I'd like to now give you a little tour and show you some of the, uh, the elements that uh, will be changed and some of the things uh, that are working well. The structure that you see here with the netting on it uh, was is my first attempt. And this framework right here uh, which has a, uh, a metal bow, which is really designed, it's a, a, um, usually used in, um, in hoop houses. Um, I'm kind of, uh, in this next one, I'm um, using some of the um, advantages of a hoop house to support the netting. Um, the, the structure is made just from um, PVC uh, water lines, Schedule 40 PVC. And um, uh, the, the netting comes in uh, um, 13 feet widths. So I had to take two and 328 feet long. That's the, one of the standard sizes. So by taking, uh, taking a roll and uh, sewing it with the seam through the middle, there was enough to cover this particular hoop. Um, on the new one, I'll have to have two seams. Uh, there are plenty of tarp shops that are um, able to do this kind of work. And um, one of the uh, uh, features of this one is just having a zippered door that can really seal out the, uh, the spotted wing Drosophila. Um, on the, uh, the new one, I'll have the zipper come around in a C, so it can open like a door. And um, I'll put a second door in. So there's a, a sort of a, an entryway that will help to keep the, uh, the, the bugs out. I'd say the main disadvantage of this particular design, uh, this particular structure, is the fact that the netting is attached to the side of the wooden raised bed, which creates this uh, area that you can't access. You can't access, uh, can't walk around, uh, work with the raspberries uh, on, on the side. So the new structure with the straight, straight posts on the side at, at about a five, five, six foot height will allow me to walk along the raised beds on both sides. The ends will be framed, and, and this, this equipment is 
standard for, uh, for hoop houses um, with the attachment to the bow. And this will be framed with wood all the way along uh, both ends, which will uh, add to uh, the strength of the, uh, of the building. Now, um, this, this wiggle wire, which, or spring lock, goes inside these, these channels. And you can see how it, how it works. This is just folded across and this particular door is attached in this channel and the wire just is easy to attach just and and, and it will hold the the netting in place um, the the design of this particular original structure is that the none of the PVC is glued together it's all just attached loosely um, and it should be easy to take apart and the netting will come off um, uh, now that the uh, the season is just about over the netting will all come off and be stored for winter which will lengthen the uh, time of the, the, the life of the netting this netting um, comes from Canada the size of the openings in the netting um, really eliminate the uh, access for the spotted winged drosophila. In this particular structure, it's all PVC and, and these uh, aluminum um, channels are attached to the, to the raised beds. And uh, again, pointing out that there's no space to uh, access, to get access to the this side of the uh, of the berries. Um, these bows um, were made uh, according to my my design, and um, they will. Uh, I'll keep them about oh about every uh, 20 feet, 30 feet, just to add to the structure, because you can see that just the PVC alone is is not very rigid. It doesn't uh, need to be that rigid. The netting comes down in the winter and is put away and this, it's not going to be bothered by snow. Um, but on the other hand, it's nice to know that, uh, that there's some, some rigidity to the structure. These posts allow me to walk or anyone who's uh, picking berries, working with the berries, to walk along the side and not be, in, you won't have the interference of the curve. Uh, okay, we're on the, uh, the opposite end of the opening um, uh, with the netting and in this, this particular case, I uh, uh, pulled the netting um, by myself. It took me about, oh, half an hour at the most, I'd say by just uh, walking from side to side and sliding it over. And then on this end, I just pulled it down and attached it at the bottom, again with the spring lock wire. And uh, the issue of the uh, extra was just uh, rolled up, uh, not uh, very uh, professional, but it worked. Let's go inside and have a look at the, uh, at the berries. So today's uh, November 8th, and um, as you can see, these berries keep on, keep on growing. I'm sure that the season will end soon, but uh, my assistant here loves to uh, pick right along with me. So just started picking a little while, uh, a little while ago and, uh, and have quite a few more to pick. These raspberries are great. <laughs> Just ask Ollie. <laughs> the wood for the raised beds has all been treated with a, um, uh, a natural product um, available from Canada. Um, it uh, immediately turns the wood uh, a bit gray, but it's uh, non, completely non-toxic and uh, usable in, a, in an organic uh, situation. These wooden uh, supports just to add some structure to the uh, 
to the center ridge, the purlin that ties these uh, bows together. The, everything is assembled uh, so it can easily come apart. Use tape, use uh, zip ties, use um, anything that uh, wouldn't be hard to, uh, to take apart. Trellises are really important to uh, keep the, the uh, rows free for, for walking. Otherwise these raspberries will just kind of take over and uh, get in the way. Um, it's also really nice um, to have a, um, a, a fabric, a membrane on the ground to keep the weeds uh, from uh, getting out of control. Um, this particular membrane uh, allows water to, uh, to go through, so it's a nice thing to have on the ground. And if you drop a raspberry, you can pick it up easily enough, too. <laughs> so you can see the disadvantage of having this netting uh, attached to the side of that raised bed. It's uh, very difficult to reach in, to work with the plants, to pick the berries. And, and in fact, I uh, read that uh, the spotted wing, if there's a berry up against the netting, they'll actually um, be able to reach that berry through, through the netting. So it's, it's really important to the, with the new design to have the space between the netting and the raised beds and the plants. This year is uh, somewhat of an experimental year for uh, different aspects of the um, using the netting. And uh, one thing we did was put uh, thermometers inside and outside and comparing temperatures. Um, I was able to read the temperatures through my phone, uh, through an app on my phone, and uh, I noticed that the temperature inside was often um, um, a bit hotter in here. But that's uh, just uh, in the early stages of, uh, of um, discovery. Okay, this is a trap for the uh, spotted wing, Drosophila. Um, this, uh, it's important to have one inside and one outside, or several inside and several outside, so you can compare. Um, and uh, my uh, observation um, was the outside, outside traps were full of uh, gnat type of uh, flies, not necessarily spotted wing drosophila, but uh, very full and in, inside there's uh, just a few. So just uh, to finish up, uh, I want to emphasize that I put this netting on to cover my raspberries to keep the to protect them from the spotted wing Drosophila. I mean, if you're going to invest in and put all the time and effort and money into uh, uh, growing berries or other uh, soft skin uh, fruit, um, there's ways to protect it and uh, and to keep the uh, spotted wing Drosophila from uh, damaging your fruit. Um, I think it's worth, worth the effort. Uh, I mean, there are other advantages to the netting as well, but the main reason is the spotted wing Drosophila. Uh, other advantages, um, hard rains, heavy, heavy winds. Um, it protects your, uh, your beds. Um, when I would come out here uh, with when it's raining, it was kind of like misty in there, not uh, not drops of rain. So there are definitely other advantages, but again, just it's uh, the reason is to uh, have clean, um, edible fruit.